Welcome back to a new episode of Called Arms, but this time it's modded. As you can probably tell, this is my first time ever recording a voiceover. This mod adds new units along with more realistic gameplay. The mod will be in the description, and with that out of the way, let's get straight into it. This isn't my first time playing this, as I got destroyed heavily last time. However, I do my standard opening of loading my troops into the striker, and then proceeding to push forward. However, I must proceed with caution, as the mod adds AT to each squad. I then attempt to flank with my troops, however this fails, as I come under fire. Those waves you see are shotgun pellets. And with only two shots, my first casualty is taken. So then I retaliate using the striker. I finally decide to push up while my striker covers us. This push goes well, but a lot of my troops are injured. And to cut a long story short, the rest of the mission goes on without a hitch. So, let's move on to the next one. If you have watched my previous conquest, you know the fence missions aren't that fun because they're not that exciting. However, I will still be showing them as they will get a lot more exciting. So, I just pack all my troops into a striker and move to the right as it's lightly guarded. I thought the NPCs would be overrun fairly quickly, but they actually managed to take out the first squad. And before the second squad can arrive, my troops and my striker reach location. I unload my troops and set them up in defensive locations.
However, as I'm distracted, an enemy vehicle attacks my allies. However, they shut it down with anti-tank weapons. However, I see a few injured, so I send in a squad to help them. Oh, never mind. Apparently, my friend's bleeding out is less important than me repositioning the striker. And after looking at them for a bit, I instead watched the AI fire. What the heck is wrong with me? I'm still watching apparently. And there I go, repositioning my striker again. Although, to be fair to myself, I know that the troops have a longer bleed out time than usual. I finally decide to send a squad over to patch up the injured. And apparently, the striker's driver doesn't know how to actually drive. Finally, after two minutes, I finally decide to patch the soldiers up. I then proceed to watch my troops shoot for another minute or so. And to avoid you guys getting bored, I'm gonna skip over to the next mission. This next battle, I must be careful, as this is the same map in battle that ended my last run. I quickly inspect all the defensive positions as long as the infantry that are heading over. I then do my normal setup of loading my troops in the striker and also the LAV and then slowly pushing forward. I attempt to flank on the hillside to shoot inside the compound. However, as I do this, disaster strikes and my LAV is knocked out. I attempt to unload all the infantry out and get them behind the LAV. But since I accidentally select the LAV, my troops wouldn't move, and they got killed.
now with my best vehicle down. I tr attempt to still flank with the striker and the infantry insider. I used the striker to knock out any infantry I could see. I attempt to get the rest of the troops from the LRV to cover. And I successfully managed to. I prepare to strike the left side in an attempt to see if my LAV can shoot anything to help. Sadly, all I'm able to do is break a wall and not even a fence. I then move into the compound with the striker covering us from above. We manage to dispatch another squad coming in. However, I forget to exit the third person while I throw this grenade to see the arc of the grenade. However, I just let the AI do it instead. I successfully wipe out a few of them. Then, with the squad I spawned in earlier, I attempt to attack the right point. However, to my horror, my striker has been hit by an RPG, killing everyone inside. However, I attempt to rescue the two wounded troopers, but am able to get one because of the heavy fire. But because their firepower is too great, I am forced to throw in all my soldiers as I'm taking way too much fire from the enemy. I then grenade the other remaining troops and then push up. However, in my rush I completely forget about the remaining troops in the other square, which leads to this happening. That wasn't my best performance. With a few more bullets, we are able to secure the area again. I then use the medic to patch up any wounded soldiers and I place the rest of the squad to cover them.
I then tried to flank with the remaining squads. I then start the ill-fated assault. And great, my striker's on fire. To no one's surprise, a lot of the soldiers that I sent are down. To no one's surprise, I had to prone them as they were taking too much fire. Oh, apparently my striker's not burning. Let's also throw it on the assault on the right side. For once, I am not just charging my striker, and instead use it to knock out all the troops manning that defensive position. Taking advantage of the vacant defensive locations. I then patch up all my troops and prepare to assault again. As I was way too focused on the assault, a vehicle comes in and destroys a lot of my infantry. I then push up the slow, trying to get cover and to flush out all the remaining defenders. Thinking that the coast is clear, I send my infantry in. However, they are slaughtered by infantry in a vehicle.
I desperately try to heal the wounded to pull them back. However, this squad is slowly wiped out. I then use the squad's AT weapon to knock out the technical. However, this turns out to be in vain as the infantry slowly overwhelm us. Growing more and more desperate, I attempt to heal the troops again. However, end up losing two out of the three remaining troops. I then discover that my left side is starting to struggle as well. Seeing all is lost on the side, I attempt to retreat the soldier. However, he falls as well. With the right side squad being completely white, I know that this battle is lost but I attempt to send more infantry in as a desperate final assault. I also divert some of the infantry from the left side to the right side. Well, you can run fast enough. And there goes my striker as well. At this point, I send the remaining troops to the right side to try to scavenge this situation while leaving a small garrison on the left side. I surprisingly make it up to the right side and manage to revive a few of the troops. Because some of the troops are too close to the opening, I decide not to patch those ones up. And yet another move I will grow to regret. At this point, the left is slowly collapsing as I'm preoccupied with this assault. I try once again to patch up the troops and rush in to secure the area. However, there's a vehicle up front, and when I attempt to shoot it with an AT4, it one-shots that trooper and everyone else that follows. I then realized the left has fallen and then surrendered. Well, that's all for the video today, folks. I'll be seeing you in the next one. However, I may return to text edits as this took way too long.